What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we really get started with today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to Max Speeding Rods. This is a Max Speeding Rod sponsored video. Max Speeding Rods Macy has been a huge help to us in the past and she has been a huge help to us again. We have some pretty cool goodies from Max Speeding Rods, some single cam stuff. These are head studs from Max Speeding Rods and this is a timing belt kit and water pump. So check that out. We're going to get down to busting open all of these, but first I want to introduce you guys to what we're doing this is a d15b block this came from jesse garcia he donated this he said it smoked worse than his grandpa and i'm hoping that that's just because of the um the valve stems i'm hoping it was all coming from the head and i'm hoping i'm betting my money on it that we're gonna have a good block you guys saw how badly the z6 inside of my car is smoking For anyone new to the channel, for anyone who is just tuning in, I had a dual overhead cam ZC inside of my CRX. Now I have a D16Z6 inside of my engine bay. It's, you know, for the most part, it's a pretty stout single cam. It's it's fun, it's revy, it has VTEC, but I never hooked up VTEC because this engine is pretty much at the end of her life. This engine has been in many, many cars, as I've mentioned previously. This engine was boosted by its previous, by its original owner, and then it was given to me and Leo, and you know, Leo put tons of mileage on this thing. Um, she does not have a dipstick. I have no way of checking my oil level and it also does leak a lot. The valve cover leaks as well as the oil pan. I'm not sure why the valve cover leaks because if you guys remember Lazy Man went through and installed this MPC hardware with a fresh gasket and it's a rebuilt head so I don't know it's just being annoying but overall guys the motor smokes a lot. A lot. Anytime I'm in the high rpms anytime I'm smacking on two step it puffs. It puffs. What's up dude? Hey buddy, this is midnight. Y'all know midnight. And speaking of old engines, here's my dual overhead cam ZC. This was the original swap that I built the car with, and this is also the swap that's gonna go back in the car. Don't think I've forgotten about that. But for now, I went through all of my single cams. That block is a Z6 block that was full of water, also a blown head gasket victim, and I don't know. This one just looks a lot better. It has some carbon buildup, but that's about it. Jesse did say it smokes. So as long as these rings are solid, we should be good. As you guys can see over here, the water pump is damaged, but that's okay because Max Feeding Rods provided us all of that and we're gonna replace all of these components. But first, before we put new parts onto an old engine, let's get this thing freshened up a little bit. Let's, let's degrease it. You guys know I hate dirty engines. <coughs> we got the short block cleaned up. Um, she's still a little crusty, but we can definitely go back and clean this engine some more when we get more degreaser. As for the pistons, I put a little bit of oil on top to help break down. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have a lot of like carbon deposits on it, which is the reason why I was thinking that it was smoking because of the head. And um, the block itself, I'm turning this with my bare hand and the crank turns over very nicely. The entire rotating assembly feels very nice. Um, we do have some scratches on the top of our combustion chambers, but the cross hatching is rel is present lower down into the cylinders. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. I think this block will run. So we're going to take this block in. It's already finished drying up. I'm going to take it back over there. We're going to figure out what kind of head we're going to put on it. And then we're going to set up the max beating rod timing belt kit. All right, you guys. So we got the surface all cleaned up. All I did was go at it with some acetone and a clean microfiber towel. I tried to get a lot of the carbon deposits off of the pistons. These are P2C pistons. I was doing my research on, um, you know, just the forums and stuff. I will put a screenshot to the forum posts I was reading right here. And it actually appears that the P2C pistons are rather rare and no one can really pinpoint what these pistons came out of, but they are said to be like a ultra lightweight piston not necessarily the highest compression, but a little lighter than what normal OEM pistons are. So that's cool. Anyways, um, Max Beating Rod sent us a couple of goodies. Originally, 
my plan was to not even tell Tay about the free RX. Instead, I was gonna build the car for him. I was gonna throw something together in my backyard with you know, all of our transmissions and single cams and stuff. We were gonna get something going for him to have a running car. And I was pretty much just gonna roll up in front of the house and toss him the keys to it and it was gonna be cool. But, I don't know. I just wanted to give him something to have a little bit of hope for because he was really down. And when I told him the free RX was his, all of a sudden, this dude stays up all night just freaking planning things that he wants to do to the car, ways that he can go about the build. It's turning into a lot more, a lot faster. <laughs> Anyways, you're gonna see the Free RX build. We're gonna do a whole playlist on the Free RX build, but I just wanna let you guys know, she's not gonna come back the way she, the way she left. Um, Tay's going a little overboard with the plans, but we're gonna go full sand and it's gonna be a ripper. I'm just gonna say that. It doesn't look like we're gonna be putting a single cam in the car. So I still have all of the single cam stuff that Macy sent us. Big, big shout out to Macy. Big shout out to Max Feeding Rods. We're gonna be able to try out a lot of cool products today. This is a set of head studs provided by Max Speeding Rods. This is the Max Speeding Rod Special. I didn't know that they made head studs and I found out that they did. Asked for a set and here they are. So this should be pretty cool. It looks like we are given our nuts. Better make sure I have a socket for that. Our washers and then our actual studs. The studs themselves are heavy. Like these have a weight to them. This isn't, this isn't light like some of the Max Speeding Rods hardware has been. Even the nuts, like the nuts don't feel too bad either. This might, uh, this might honestly be steel. Came in a box like this. It said D16 Z6 because that is what they are for. They're pretty much all the same. And then over here we have a selection of two head gaskets. This is a head gasket that I got from Danny. This is what he says is a VTEC head gasket. It came with his D15B VTEC reseal kit. So we have that. And then we have this Falpro which I know is a non VTEC head gasket. This isn't the multi-layer steel foul pro. So we might honestly end up throwing it on this one because I don't really like any foul pros that aren't the multi-layer steel, but we do have fresh head gaskets right here. And then in this box, we have a Max Beating Rods timing belt kit. Max Beating Rods does make timing belt kits, guys. I didn't know this, but they do. And this is a really, really nice timing belt. Like this is good quality. This feels like a good quality rubber. This feels like a real timing belt. This doesn't feel like it's made out of plastic or something like that. Like this, I don't know, I'll trust it. I'm about to install it. This is a D15 timing belt and water pump kit. We have the Max Beating Rods timing belt as well as the Max Beating Rods water pump. We're gonna install all these things as well as the tensioner, everything in the box. It even comes with two little seals. I think this is actually the front seal and maybe a cam seal. I don't know, but um, this is really cool. Really, really cool. Huge shout out to Macy for sending us all of this stuff. Like I said, originally this stuff was sent to us with the intention of getting Tay a running engine built out of my junk. But, you know, Tay wants to go a little overboard and have some fun. Let him be creative. You guys are going to love what he's going to do with the Free RX. So why not full send it? I got the box of Max Speeding Rod studs pulled out. Um, this is pretty much what they're looking like. They have a hex head on one side, flat end on this side, just like an ARP head stud and you want to put the flat end into the block and hand tighten them. Um, I know they have a hex stud on top, but these are really supposed to be hand tightened. So do that. And we're just going to get all of them into the block, just like the way I'm doing it right now. Cool. So those are our Max Speeding Rods head studs, all fully installed. They all went in perfectly, no problems. They're all even, they're all the right size. They're all the right thread pitch. They all hand tightened until they were bottomed out with no problems. Everything felt solid. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Sheesh, boy. This thing is loud, 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 loud. Of course it's not that loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's always loud. Guys, check out Danny's new front end. Oh, that's a lip and headlights, but it's a whole new look. Dang, that thing looks clean. All about those angles. And bro, I just saw the video. Oh yeah, that, that shows Dude, good. it looks so good. If you guys haven't checked it out, um, I went out with Danny. He got a whole photo shoot done of this car and it is on the photographer's page, Dream Image 18. Yeah, I think so. Dream Image 18, check him out on Instagram. I shared it to my story 
it came out so cool if you like if you grew up with old need for speed then you'll love that little clip sheesh <laughs> we're at the car wash danny's over there and um, apparently i was shooting a lot of smoke out of my muffler <laughs> and the check engine light came on the car was definitely not running right um i would be like accelerating and then i would get like power cuts you know but they were really quick power cuts like really really quick on an OBD1 Honda ECU is TPS, throttle position sensor. And that makes sense why like I would be accelerating and I would feel like I was losing power because I was losing throttle position. So I think my TPS sensor is bad. I'm gonna reset the ECU, I'm gonna reset the codes and we're gonna see how it is after that. Look at that. We've been following the C8. I mean, not really, but I think he's going to the same meet as us and he just threw on his blue underglow. I told y'all underglow is cool again. Oh, guys, we showed up to the spot. It's a meet in the dark. Look, there goes the underglow Corvette. We need underglow. This is why we need underglow. This is what the future of car meets is gonna be like. We're in the dark. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll get back to building an engine. What's going on you guys so it is the next day it's a little bit later in the day i've been getting a bunch of stuff done all morning and all afternoon um last night danny came over all random we went to the car wash my car started acting up i threw a tps code i couldn't really drive it i kept on i kept running in and out of power it was so weird and so i took my car home we went out to that meet turned out it was like a meet in the dark <laughs> it was like an underglow only meet so it was pretty cool though it was different it was odd we didn't stay too long, got home kind of early. Um, I woke up today, I went and drove my CRX around. No check engine light, no TPS code, nothing weird at all. And I literally didn't do anything to it. I guess she just really didn't want to go out to that meet. I don't know. I always look at things like that. You know, maybe it happens for a reason, like maybe we we're not meant to go out that night. I don't know. But either way, my CRX is fine. I'm not throwing any check engine lights at all. I already drove it for like an hour today and like no problems. Anyways. I'm going through all of my stuff right now, try, still trying to decide what head I'm gonna put on that D15B block. We do have this single cam D15 head that we got from Dana. This is freshly resurfaced, freshly rebuilt. It wasn't really ran that long. You can see we have a tiny bit of carbon in the combustion chambers, but like for the most part, this is a resurfaced head ready to go. There is a spider inside of this engine. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, well, what the hell am I doing right now? And I'm honestly wondering the same exact thing. So um, I was assembling the D15B, and then I decided to start messing with that Z6 block that we had right there. And I couldn't get that crank pulley bolt off. I'm still struggling to get it off. It's kind of hard when it's just a bare block and you don't weigh nothing. Um, so then I pulled out the Frankenstein motor that we had right there. This is a D15B7 with a Z6 head and it had a blown head gasket. The Z6 head looks fairly refreshed. And then I pulled it off the block only to find this. Like, holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Something went terribly wrong. Cause this, Jesus. Talk about blown head gaskets. This is, that might be the worst head gasket I've seen. And we got a little spider on it. Blow him away. Um, but yeah, we've even got spider webs in the cylinders. <laughs> that's funny so you guys are probably still saying nate you didn't answer our freaking question what the hell are you doing i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i'm just getting creative i guess like they left the oil jet in so that's very interesting that they left the oil jet in i don't know how vtech was supposed to engage like that you're supposed to remove those when you're doing mini me's or lsv's but i don't know i don't know 
So now we have a D15B7 block and it still has the oil jet in it. And this block actually, I believe is in better condition than that block because K KJ never told me that this block smoked or anything. The only problem was it had a blown head gasket, blown head gasket. Exhibit A right here, super blown. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Um, it could have been perhaps they just didn't torque it down properly. They didn't use the right torque sequence or maybe, I don't know, something happened there. But either way, we have this block. This block appears to be in very, very good condition. It actually rotates just as smooth as that D15B block, if not smoother. And I think this is gonna be the new project. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these head studs off of this block, throw them on this block, and then we're gonna decide on a head. Okay guys, this was definitely a good idea because this block is mint. She might've been a little ugly from the outside, but this block spins super, super freely. It's very, very smooth. The cylinders have pretty much all of their factory cross hatching present. The D15B block, did not look this good. But either way, we do have two good blocks. Let's proceed with the engine assembly. Which head are we gonna put on? All right guys, we're gonna be using this head gasket. This is a Foul Pro. It is for a D15 B1, B2, B6. Uh, doesn't say anything about the B7, <laughs> but we're gonna use it anyways. It's the same thing. Um, I got this head gasket on clearance or on wholesale from Foul Pro. They were like literally like five bucks each. I also made the decision to use the single cam head that we got from Dana just because this is literally the closest to being bone stock, brand new, ready to go. Everything else might be cooler but it would be better to send every single head we have through the machine shop at least once for a resurface and checkup before we even try to send it. And since we're trying to actually do mileage on this setup. These are D16Z6 head studs and um, they're, they work perfectly for the B7 with the regular d15 head so that's cool um i'm gonna bolt that all these down i'm gonna get out the washers and the nuts and we'll go from there and just like when you're ordering from arp max speeding rods gives you a bag of washers and a bag of nuts All right, fam, so I torqued down the rocker assembly to 18 foot pounds. Also, big shout out to FIFOS for giving me this. I know I haven't posted the last big man video, but that's only because I still need to record a couple clips at the end. But FIFOS gave me this torque wrench because I didn't have one. So huge shout out, Chris. I've been using this thing a lot. But anyways, 
I got my rocker assembly all tightened down. We do have our AEM True Time cam gear on here. And as you guys can see, we're, I mean, you guys can't really see it, but we are at top dead center with the cam and the crank. You guys can probably see it on the crank. So we have that little mark right there and it's lined up to that arrow right there. That's how you know you're at top dead center. So this is all finished up. I can throw a valve cover on this. That way we stop getting stuff inside of here. But before I do that, I'm gonna throw on our timing valve. It looks like this engine already had a pretty fresh water pump on it, but this thing blew a head gasket for a reason. So I got that all cleaned up. And then over here, over here, we got our max speeding rods, timing belt, and water pump kit. Don't lose the bolts. Here's a brand new max speeding rods water pump. And it looks, it's pretty much identical. Like it looks really good. Condition is really good. I'm sure this is just an AutoZone water pump. So honestly, they're probably not too different. I believe max speeding rods provided a gasket. They did provide a gasket. So we're gonna get this gasket lined up on the water pump and then we're gonna get her in. Um, we have four bolts. The only bolt you have to worry about, the only bolt that's different is you have one short bolt. Short bolt goes right here in that hole, okay? Boom. Cool, water pump's fully installed. I even have the 14 millimeter holding the alternator bracket. Next, we're gonna install our new tensioner. This is our max speeding rods tensioner. This is our old tensioner that came off of this engine. The only thing we're gonna need is our spring. We are going to really use our spring. Spring hooks on right there. And we are gonna reuse our bolt like always. That doesn't change. Let's get this tensioner on and then we'll start wrapping the belt around. The last component we're gonna install is this belt. This belt is for a D15. Because so many of my friends ask me to time their single cams, I took off my AEM pulley just so that way I can show you guys how to time a single cam. So, up here, it says up. Make sure that points up. We have one line here. Make sure that lines up with the surface of the head where the valve cover mates to. We have another line over here. Same exact deal. Make sure it lines up. This cam actually looks like it can turn a tiny bit. And down here, we have that there line. Do you see how it lines up to that arrow on the oil pump? You see that? That's all you have to do. And then after that, the belt's gonna be a little loose, right? So to, ten to tension an automatic tensioner, you're gonna leave the bolt a little bit loose and you're gonna crank the engine over like three or four times and then the tensioner is actually gonna gain tension. You're gonna feel the tension on the belt. And then once it gains tension, torque this accordingly. Oh, and then make sure you have this washer. You'll notice that you have one of these washers on both sides of the crank or of the oil pump pulley. If you don't have this washer installed correctly, your belt is going to ride off of the pulleys. Don't let that happen. Okay, so I just got the tensioner tension down. Um, torque spec is 33 foot pounds. And now the belt is tight. We can feel compression in all four cylinders. You get that little bit of tension after every quarter turn. Oh yeah, buddy. Okay guys, so I redid the timing because I noticed that this max speeding rods belt has an arrow and it's pointing in, it was pointed in the opposite direction that it was spinning, now it's not. So I think that's how it's supposed to be. Um, belt is tight, belt is tight, 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 tight. Um, this max speeding rod stuff, so far so good. Like, this is awesome. I'm really excited for it. My apologies guys. I don't think I have once shown you guys what we're gonna be making boost with. So a while ago, a long time ago, literally like two months ago, when they sent Dana the turbo for the Flipper X, Max Speeding Rod sent me my Max Speeding Rod's turbo. So this is the GT3036 model. It is a Chinese Fooly Boy provided by Max Speeding Rods. And guys, I'm excited for it. Like. 
Look at this thing. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, this is a cast manifold that Dana gave us. So huge shout out to Young Static for that. Thanks so much, big bro. Um, it leaves a lot of room for activities. So I'm still like trying to figure out how I want to clock the turbo. But for the most part, um, I originally had it bolted up backwards to where the compressor housing was on this side. And that was only because that let me tuck the turbo really nicely in here. Like the turbo was literally like right up against the block. And it was actually a very nice fitment. But I don't want the cold side on over there. Like... I don't know how I would route that. Like, it would just be a mess, you know, if we had, like, the cold side over there. And then, obviously, our throttle body is on that side. So, it would just be a mess. I don't have my intercooler right now, so, like, we can get creative. We are going to have a 4-bolt flange right here. Um, this is a 3-inch, I believe. So, we would have to do a 3-inch to 2.5-inch since our exhaust is 2.5-inch. But that's no big deal. We'll make the downpipe later. Um, and then I can also clock the cartridge to figure out how I want the oil to be flowing because you want your oil to be flowing through the turbo like you want it to be flowing with the flow of gravity um this turbo does have inlets for water it is also a water cooled turbo and I think we are going to be running the water lines because like why not I know Dana's not running the water lines he put this turbo on the flip rx and he just gave it oil but I don't know. I want to actually see what this turbo can do. I want to give it its best shot. I want to see if we could put like 5,000, 10,000 miles on this freaking turbo. I'm aiming for mileage. I want to put miles on the turbo. Like, I, I know we can make power. We can make more power than this single cam can handle. Like, we can blow a rod through this thing, like, immediately. But that's not fun. Or maybe you guys would think that was fun, but... I think I, the thing that I think is going to be fun is being able to just drive around, be like 10 states away from home, and open the hood and have a freaking Max Speeding Rods turbo in there. So, huge shout out to Max Speeding Rods for sending this turbo. We're going to do a full review on the turbo. We'll give the turbo its own video. This video is really honestly dedicated to the Max Speeding Rods timing belt and head studs. I almost called them ARP head studs again. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up because it is currently 10.30... It is currently 10.30 p.m. I need to stop making noise before 11. And Isa got out of work at 10 p.m. And I don't know, we're planning on hitting the beach tonight. He was he said he was going to come over right after work. So he should be getting here any minute now. So I need to clean up all this crap. I made a big mess of the backyard again. But here's the new setup, guys. Like, we're going to start opening the hood and seeing this craziness. So let me know if you guys are excited for this. Because I am super excited for this. And if you would like to pick up... If you would like to pick up a Max Speeding Rods timing belt and water pump kit or a head stud kit for your D-Series engine, they might even make B-Series. I don't know. I don't, don't quote me on that, but they do make them for D-15 and D-16 engines. If you would like to pick up either of those items, there's going to be a link in the description of this video. Please hit that description. There's also going to be a link to the main Max Speeding Rods website because my discount code Save the EFs will get you guys 15% off the entire website. And if you're excited to see what this Max Speeding Rods Turbo can do, or if you want to pick one up for yourself, jump the bat on us, you can also do that through the link in the description. Huge shout out to Max Speeding Rods Macy. I am so sorry I've been like off the planet lately, but um, thank you for understanding and working with me anyways. Macy, you are amazing. And I am so excited to see what this setup can do. Sorry I'm ending this video all greasy and nasty, but thank you guys for everything. Like and subscribe. Hit that, smash that like button right now if you liked anything in this video. Even if all you liked was my chromey valve cover, hit that like button right now. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I know there's about 40% of you guys who are not subscribed, so definitely hit that subscribe button. It costs y'all nothing, and it really helps the channel out. And like I said, guys, if y'all want to pick up a turbo, if y'all want to pick up a timing belt, if y'all want to pick up head studs, hit those links in my description. Make sure you save the EFs at checkout for your 15% off. And until the next upload, guys, I will see y'all later. Who knows? Maybe we'll be swapping this in next. Save an EF until then. Holy crap. That was a frickin' wasp, dude. Ugh.